during the Empire's Mimban campaign, which occurred roughly 10 years before the Battle of Yavin and the events of Episode 4, an Imperial sergeant named Sergeant Cordo implored his remaining stormtroopers to fall back, with their attack having been bogged down by their Mimban opponents. However, one of the stormtroopers was adamant that they could still emerge victorious. But the stormtrooper had been incorrect, and as Cordo tried to get them to watch out, a massive explosion cut through the remaining Imperial forces. We then see that Cordo was overseeing the campaign above the battlefield within an Imperial starship, clearly frustrated by the decisions of the stormtroopers. The issue then jumps 13 years into the future, now three years following the Battle of Yavin, where Sergeant Cordo is speaking to a squadron of Imperial Death Troopers, recognizing that while they're widely believed to be the Empire's best, he would have to wait to give them such praise. As Cordo explained the first official mission of the Death Troopers, he noted that the Rebels had acquired new experimental technology that allowed them to create a massive cannon. While it was no Death Star, the Admirals of the Empire knew it could be a risk to their Star Destroyers. Therefore, it was up to them to take it out. While Cordo knew the Death Troopers had been trained to accomplish anything and everything to succeed, he also noted his experience had shown him that any Imperial Trooper could be lost on a mission. But in the end, for Sergeant Cordo, sacrifice meant nothing. Only victory mattered. With that, while Cordo remained behind on the starship, the Death Troopers emerged to begin their assault on the cannon. However, they were quickly confronted by the forces of the Rebellion, and while the Death Troopers used their skills to dispatch a number of them quickly, the greater number of Rebels was also able to take out a few of the troopers as well. Very similar to the events on Mimban, Cordo, despite all of the importance he placed upon victory, wanted the Death Troopers to wait until they had sufficient cover. But the squadron thought otherwise, pushing forward into the open field to get to the cannon. As the troopers and rebels exchanged fire, each side took losses. But as the death troopers did everything they could, including using their own fallen squad members as shields, they finally had a path to the cannon. Only as Cordo concluded, they now had to deal with the cannon itself, which was targeting the death troopers. Demonstrating the commitment of the troopers, even as the cannon was firing on them, they still fought their way towards it. But not wanting a similar result as Mimban, Sergeant Cordo took it upon himself to single-handedly attack the cannon with the starship. Unfortunately for Cordo, while he would get off an attack run, the cannon was able to score a direct hit, causing the starship to crash to the surface below. Cordo would survive, but as he was emerging from the starship, the last three surviving death troopers approached him with their blasters drawn. And as Cordo appealed for them not to fire upon him, the troopers didn't hesitate to open fire. However, they weren't targeting Cordo, and as the sergeant himself realized, they were firing upon the engines of his starship. At that point, he recognized the Death Troopers did understand the value of victory. When the starship exploded, it caused a chain reaction that would result in the Rebellion's cannon also being destroyed, with the squadron succeeding in their mission. We then see the three Death Troopers within an Imperial medical facility, with there being no doubt that the explosion clearly took a toll on them despite the protection of their specialized armor. As an Imperial Lieutenant entered the facility and confirmed with the medical droid they were the troopers who killed Sergeant Cordo, he ordered that they be terminated, seeing them as traitors for their actions. But the order was never carried out, as the Lieutenant was immediately force choked from behind by Darth Vader, who had also entered the medical facility. As Vader dropped the lieutenant's lifeless body to the floor, he gave new orders to the medical droid. Canceling the execution order, they were to continue repairing the Death Troopers on Vader's behalf. And as we see the three Death Troopers receiving their new cybernetics that would keep them alive, Vader noted that the Empire needed victors, clearly demonstrating Vader's respect for them. The great aspect here is that we likely haven't seen the last of these Death Troopers, as this story within yesterday's Empire Ascendant issue served as the prologue to the upcoming new Darth Vader comic to be released in February. That comic has been described as one depicting Vader's quest for vengeance, and I can certainly see these Death Troopers playing an important role in that quest for Vader. So there we have it, the prologue to the upcoming new Darth Vader comic. Thank you very much to all of the Patreon members of Star Wars Reading Club, as your support is so greatly appreciated. You can find all of our social media links and a link to our Star Wars gaming channel in the description below for updates and even more Star Wars content. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For finally getting more Death Trooper stories!